Hi, I'm Brent Johnson, and today I'm at home. Like many of you, I am locked down, stuck in a quarantine, uh, and, uh, and that means unable to get out and make any videos and see any organs. So uh, I thought I would just send a little update to say I hope you're doing well. Um, we just canceled, unfortunately, a, a trip uh, to Columbus, Ohio, and the surrounding area where we were going to see at least uh, eight different organs. I think we had ten on the list of possibles. Um, so I'm very sad about that. Um, hopefully we'll be able to make that trip later in the year. That's the plan anyway. Uh, uh, for the meantime, um, I don't really have much to show you. I've got one old tape, I think, that we'll um, put online soon, another organ builder's uh, publicity tape that somebody sent me. So hopefully we can find a few more of those and have some content that we can put on our channel to keep you entertained while you're stuck at home. Uh, to that end, uh, I, if you have any ideas of other channels that other viewers of our channel might enjoy, uh, please put it down in the comments. Um, I would suggest, if you're not familiar with Fraser Gottschor's channel, uh, go check him out. Um, the, the Scott brothers do some wonderful organ stuff. There's a lot of great channels out there. Uh, I will put them down in the description. If there's things that you uh, suggest you want to see, uh, please put them in there and let those people know. If you see something you like, uh, click the thumbs up button and uh, bring those comments up to the top. I'm actually out here on my roof today, in case you're interested. It's been a really nice day. Uh, I was working in the yard earlier. Uh, we're in that weird time of year. Tomorrow it's going to be, you know, 50 degrees. Uh, and today we've got the windows open, so um, it's been quiet. There's a lot less traffic, so it's okay to come out here and do this. When I'm not making organ videos or exploring organs or practicing, you know, I do like to watch a lot of things on YouTube as well. So I thought, you know, I can maybe show you a few of the channels that I'm interested in, uh, in case you're interested in the same kind of stuff, the stuff I subscribe to. When I look at my subscriptions, the first one I see is one called Pipe Organ Stops. He hasn't had any content there in about eight months, but uh, it was somebody that was exploring organs. Um, again, not everything I, I watch is organ related. There's, I'm interested in, you know, engineering and, and science sort of thing. So I've got a number of those. Um, there's uh, machine thinking, uh, which also has not had uh, a, a video in a little while. They seem like they might have gone away, but that one's on there. Um, there's a channel called Click Spring. Uh, that uh, talks about mechanical things and, and ways people invented various uh, devices. Interesting channel. Wintergatan, if you're not familiar with this guy, this is a really interesting channel. He's a musician who has uh, built a mechanical musical instrument um, and it uses marbles to play music uh, while someone turns a crank it's pre-programmed his videos have detailed the entire building of his second iteration of this instrument I actually first found his channel when he was exploring some musical instrument museums and looking at some historic mechanical musical instruments so uh, that's an interesting thing to watch he has updates usually every week of course the ATOS the Theodore Oregon Society has a uh, their channel out there. And then there's a guy called Cody, um, Cody's Lab. I first found his channel when it was recommended there was something like how to make liquid oxygen in your garage. Now I have no desire to do that, but the fact that it might be possible intrigued me enough that I watched his video and he does a lot of science related things. He's a, a chemist, a lot of just experiments, just document stuff he does around the house. The past year has been a little rough for him. Uh, his girlfriend left him because his YouTube habit was overtaking their life and so it's been kind of a, a descent into his madness that we're getting to see there. So that's entertaining. Uh, so I've been watching. He also has one called Cody's Bee Lab, um, where uh, things that get taken down from his main channel, because sometimes he uses explosives, because he's out in rural Utah, um, and you're not supposed to have explosive things on YouTube, so uh, he puts stuff on Cody's Bee Lab. Of course, Boardwalk Organs, that's uh, the channel for the uh, Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City and that big organ there. The Church Musician's Assistant. Um, this is a newer channel um, run by a, a young lady who just graduated from Southern Methodist University, so I've been watching what she's been up to. Her name is Hannah Cruz, and she's now in uh, Tennessee and is just making lots of things that are, are useful for church musicians, church organists, so I'm um, subscribed to her channel. There's a guy in Texas who has a channel called the 8-Bit Guy, and he explores old uh, computer equipment, old electronic musical instruments, uh, refinishes them and, and talks about them, so that's it's interesting to see his channel and to see what he's coming up with. CGP Gray, he uh, has a podcast and then he sometimes animates the podcast and those come out as videos, so I like those a lot too. There's a channel called Computer File. This is a British channel, and they talk about uh, all things computers um, and talk a lot about early computer design and computing and how that works. I don't always understand everything they're talking about, but it's interesting enough, and I, I try to watch. Uh, there's a channel called Practical Engineering that talks a lot about urban engineering and, and that sort of stuff and, and the systems under the ground that you, we never think about, uh, how they work, things like that. It's kind of like stuff like that. 
Of course, the Scott Brothers duo, I mentioned them. We have our new channel, Your Sunday Service, uh, which we have, still have some coming out. We're not able to get together to make any new ones right now. I don't know exactly when we'll have a new batch recorded, but there will be more videos coming up. If you're a church organist and you're looking for a repertoire, that's a great place to go and just hear some music and see if you like it. And we always try to make links available so you can purchase it whenever you want to for yourself. Wendover Productions, that's another uh, sort of engineering and, and uh, business, uh, how things work kind of channel. I like that a lot. Um, I'm subscribed to Rick Steves Europe. Now, it has short, little short bits from his TV show that's on PBS, Rick Steves, the European travel guide. Um, but he also does some little personal videos when he's traveling and from his home now, he's doing some things. Uh, I, my first trips to Europe, I had Rick Steves books uh, under my arm and they, first just his language books that help you figure out how to navigate a place where English is not the first language. Um, but he also has lots of recommendations of places to stay. He's also a, an organ fan. Um, his books will explain to you where there's historic organs and how to get in and see them sometimes. Sometimes. It tells you, you know, in, in Paris, how to get up to Notre Dame's Cathedral, Notre Dame Cathedral's organ, if you could go there now. Um, but the Saint Sulpice, you, the, he tells you where the little secret door is, so that you can go up and sit in the organ con, organ chamber. Things that regular people might not notice, but he puts those in there, so um, that's always very helpful. I also watch Tom Scott. He's a British YouTuber. Um, he does all kinds of amazing things. You, you just have to watch his channels. I can't. I don't know how to describe them. He also has a partner, Matt Gray, and they do videos together. Matt has his own channel too. So uh, again, I'll put links to all of these. In case you want to check them out while you're stuck inside looking for something to do. Um, Steve Mould, another uh, Londoner uh, who makes videos about all kinds of things, explaining concepts and, and all sorts of practicalities we never think about. Uh, Stand Up Maths, some of these three guys do videos together. Uh, Stand Up Maths is a mathematician um, who actually does shows using math and proving all sorts of things and, and uh, just a lot of fun to watch, entertaining stuff. I, I subscribe to Gavin Weber who's a cheese maker. I have never made cheese in my life but I'm fascinated with the idea and the process of you know taking milk and turning it into another thing. Anything like that that you know like from wine making and beer making and, and where you take a, a, a agricultural product and it becomes something completely different in the end. That's kind of fascinating. I've never made any cheese. I don't know that I ever will, but I'm fascinated watching him do it. His videos are great. I sent that channel to a good friend of mine and she told me she just dove right in because they're great because they help her get to sleep at night. She puts them on and she goes right to sleep. So whatever works for her, um, it's, they're fun to watch. Electro Boom. If you're into electronics at all, whether you're understanding or just watching other people do it, Electro Boom's uh, great. He's very knowledgeable. He kind of he will usually shock himself in every episode. There's always some joke, but they're they're well made, and he knows what he's talking about. And there's still more. I've got more channels in here. The Townsends, um, and the Townsends started as an 18th century reenactors, um, but now it's kind of turned into just 18th century cooking, um, and. Uh, for whatever reason that's interesting. I don't even watch cooking shows. I'm not into, don't cook much myself, but um, seeing them take these old texts, these old cookbooks and try to decipher things that don't make sense to us today. Um, there's a lot of a lot of the similarities with, with playing the organ where we get old texts and we have to figure out what they were, th what they were thinking about. There's a channel called Today I Found Out. Um, Simon Whistler is the host. He hosts a number of channels and podcasts and things. And, and there's, I don't watch every single one because they're not always interesting, but most of them are. And he also has another channel called Geographics where they talk about the history of a place or something and, and they're just ways to pass time. I don't watch a lot of broadcast TV or cable TV. Um, that being said, I did watch all of Tiger King. So, um, you know, you should check that out too if you're looking for some real craziness. Anyway. It's really pretty frustrating to be shut down at this time of year uh, when we're normally raising funds. We try to raise our entire operating budget in April and it's hard to ask people to give when there's really nothing to show for it. Now, we are still broadcasting on our three stations, Oregon Live, Positively Baroque, and The Oregon Experience. Uh, so you can still tune into those. That's where the bulk of our expenses go. We're licensing those stations and paying for the hosting. Uh, so uh, we can still use your contributions. You can, you can become a sponsor for as little as $1 uh, and that will help keep those stations up and running. Now, there is one project that we've been talking about. Um, a lot of people have wanted to see the Cathedral Basilica of St. Louis. Um, this is a different difficult organ to capture. It's big, it's all over the room. Uh, the acoustics in there make it very challenging. Um, but I was out there, I was actually just doing some tuning. There's a little teaser. And I was talking with Horst Buchholz, the organist, uh, and we were discussing how we could possibly best show off this organ. And it turns out now might be a really good time. 
because there's nothing going on in the cathedral. There's no tourists. Uh, there's no people coming in that want the organ to be silent. That's usually the case during the day uh, because they're giving tours or there's events going on. So now, right now when there's nothing going on, might be a great time to get in and make a video about the organ. Um, and also we'd have time because it would be just me and just Horst. There's no one else that we could get in there. And so that always makes things take longer when we don't have more people on hand. And so we've got time right now. So um, that is a work in progress that hopefully we might see that while everyone's still trapped inside. We'll make a nice long video out of it and show you every corner of that 118 rank organ, I think it is. So that's it for this little update from my roof. Uh, everybody stay inside, stay safe, wash your hands, uh, keep distance from each other. We'll all be on the other side of this before too long, I hope, and I hope we'll be back inside a nice clean organ chamber bringing it to you. I'm Brent Johnson, thanks for watching. Next. 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 Next.